Hey guys, so today I'm going to be discussing things that YouTube made me buy. So YouTube majorly hypes up certain products and I am going to give you honest reviews today of some of the most popular products here on YouTube. So if you're new to my channel, hi, I'm new, and you might want to click subscribe just to keep up to date with everything, and there's a little bell down there I think as well. If you click that, then you get notified when I post a new video, which is good because there are some exciting ones coming up and some Christmas themed ones. First thing I'm going to be starting with is something that was so hyped up. I think this year, this was like the year of the post shave bar. And basically it's supposed to be a really good primer. Now this has something in it, I think it's called glycerin might be glycerol. Anyway, one of those two, which I actually learned about in chemistry and I was like, oh, that's so cool. Basically it sticks things. So it's gonna make your foundation bind to your skin better, which is why everyone thinks it's such a good primer. I agree. I really like this. I think this is a great primer. I found it just makes everything stay, you know, longer. And that's something I struggle with because I get, especially around my nose, quite oily. Um, people who wear glasses, you'll feel me. Obviously your glasses like move around on your face a little bit, but they're very concentrated here on the bridge of your nose because that's where they sit and it gets really oily there and so I find that my makeup really cakes off in that area. By combining wearing this and using blotting papers around my nose I found that has really helped. Although it's quite an annoying huge bottle um, I think it's on sale at the moment as Superdrug so if you get down there quickly it might still be on sale and I would recommend this if you want the length of your makeup to increase. Staying on, not a sentence. If you would like the longevity of your makeup to increase, I would definitely recommend this. And I think it is worth the hype. So we might as well stick to sort of non-strictly makeup things and quickly talk about this product here, which YouTube most definitely made me buy. It is the Liz Isle Cleanse and Polish. I'm not gonna talk too much about this because I think I might have a skincare video coming up and I feel like I might include this, but just in case I don't, I really like this product. I think that it is really nice for taking off your makeup. It makes my eyes a little bit like filmy when I use it around there because I know you're supposed to not get it in your eyes, but I always end up getting it in my eyes. Basically, I really like the way that this makes my skin feel afterwards. It makes it really nice and moisturized. I find it does help me clear up my skin. Do you think if you're in the market for it, it's worth the hype? Um, if you're not, you can definitely find things that are just as good, probably, if you do a little bit of searching. So I am gonna say that this is worth the hype. So next up, we have a product that is uh, very hyped on YouTube, and that is the Too Faced Melted uh, Longwear lipsticks so these are liquefied they don't dry matte they're not supposed to they sort of leave a weird uh tacky feeling I find um the packaging is adorable I love the packaging of these and they have a really really nice shade range so I have melted peony I find the applicator of these really really difficult to work with so let me just show you what it looks like it's basically like doe foot but really like I want to say it's like foamy around the edges that's not what I mean basically it's like the brush is quite so it's really difficult to get a smooth line and you have to use a lip liner and like I'm not about that especially because they don't have matching lip liners that like you can buy separately or that come with them like you'd have to go and source your own liner that looks exactly the same as far as I'm aware by the way if this is wrong then tell me but basically I just find it annoying that you can't just put this on and go because I like the idea that it's just in a little squeezy tube you put it on you leave it's not like a liquid lipstick that you have to spend hours making it look perfect because it's gonna stay all day like this will come off and it does transfer I just I mean, there you go. That's what I think of it. I basically just don't love it. I think they could improve it a little bit um, in terms of the, like, the applicator and I don't love the colour. It's cute when it's swatched and then I put it on and I just don't think it suits me. But uh, I have yet to try the melted matte ones. Maybe I'll prefer them. Overall, I'm going to say the smell is quite nice but like a little bit sickly and I'm going to say that is not worth the hype. So next up we have a brand and a collection that just keeps growing, it won't stop, like they refuse to stop, and that is Urban Decay Naked. Um, I have three of the palettes, I have one, three, and Smoky, so the only one I'm, oh and I have Basic as well, it's down there, I don't have it. Um, so the only one I don't have is two Naked Basics 2 and the brand new one with all the nudes that they just came out with, which I don't really like the look of, it's okay, I think I'd need to try it to give an honest review. Basically. 
I really like these palettes. I really like the quality of the shadows and I really like a lot of the colours but uh, you need to do your research before you buy these. I have not used Naked 3 in like six months because as much as I love some of the colours, some of them I just do. To me, they're not memorable enough that I go, oh my god, yeah, I must use Mugshot today because I love that one. Where's my Naked 3 palette, you know? I find them sometimes difficult to like take around with me because I don't enjoy all the colours. I think if you find one and you go, wow, all those colours are amazing, it is worth the hype. And I think that if you end up getting one that you didn't properly do your research on, you waste a lot of money because you won't end up using all the shades and so you won't ever take it anywhere with you because you only like one shade in it. So overall, I would say they are half worth the hype. Next up we have a classic and that is the Beauty Blender. YouTube definitely made me buy this because everyone was using it in their tutorials. I was like, all right, fine, I'll get one. I actually originally started off with the Real Techniques one and then my mum bought me the, uh, real original beauty blender. I only ever use this side, I never dab on like this, I always ever dab like that. I don't know, maybe that's something I'm doing wrong, but I just like using this side better, and especially for getting under my eyes. Uh, it's losing its point a little bit, which is a bit annoying, and I need to clean it desperately, and I need to get some beauty blender cleaner, I think, because every time I wash it with something else, it just doesn't feel great. Um, overall, I really like this, I find it is a very nice application and once you've worked out how it works with your foundations and your skin, so with some of them it works better not damp and with some of them it works better damp, so once you've worked that out you can use this uh, very effectively and I do really like this. Next time I might get a black one because I think they're really cool, um, but I think the Beauty Blender is worth the hype. So next up I have my favourite highlighter ever, so you guys know what the answer to this is, but this is the Balm Mary Luminizer that YouTube and especially Emily Canham especially, how many times can one say especially in the sentence? I especially bought this because Emily Canham always used to talk about it, but I have barely like even dented this and I've used it like a lot, like really, really a lot. Um, it got covered in a pigment that smashed all over my makeup bag recently, which was a really annoying. So now it's got a horrible like gray tinge to it, but it is a really big size. It is 8.5 grams, which is a lot. I really like this. It's like goldy, but also not too gold. And it's got beautiful, it's almost champagne-y, but kind of not quite. It's sort of everything you want a highlighter to be. Um, you might be able to see it. I only put it on really lightly today, but basically I really like this product. I think it's gorgeous. It hits the light so nicely. And I would say if you need a new highlighter, I would definitely recommend this. It is worth the hype. And last up, we have the big dog, the hype the like the major hype of 2016. I'm pretty sure you already know what I'm talking about. In fact, write it down somewhere and prove yourself right when I tell you that the next product and the final product I'm going to be talking about is the Kylie Lip Kit. So I have three lip kits. Well, okay, I have two lip kits and one metallic lip. Um, I have Candy K, I have Dolce K, and I have so first of all, I love the packaging. We don't even need to talk about the packaging because I really like it. I think it's really cute packaging and I really like it. I think the packaging is adorable. The actual product, let's start with the metallic because you are the odd one out. This is the metal matte. I think she calls it lipstick. I don't understand why she called it metal matte. It's not matte. It's got shimmer in it. It's not matte. Anyway, it dries kind of, I guess it's not glossy, so it kind of dries matte, but this is it. This is air. I love air. I think it's gorgeous for over the top of things. I would never wear it on its own unless I was feeling super bold because it's just very uh, light and like intensely peach and like your lips would be like, anyway. I, I like this. I don't know if I would pay for it again, but again, it's a single. It doesn't come in a kit, so it is cheaper. And she's now started doing singles, which I think is really good because sometimes you only want the liner or the lip like actual liquid lip. I really don't like Dolce K, it is way too dark for me. I really need to get Malibu because I really like the idea of Malibu. Um, it's just too dark and I find it really difficult to wear when it's too dark. Um, but I like the liner, I think both the liners are good liners. They're not like incredible, everyone goes on about how amazing the liners are, like they're really great liners but they're not like amazing and the lids pop off really easily in your bag. Uh, I really like Candy K, I think it is a really pretty colour. Uh, the only thing I have with these is, although they do stay on quite long, obviously as soon as you eat something oily they come off, they're, they're very dry and powdery 
And so I like that the smell is good, the color is good, but then you get to the texture and you can kind of see the bits of your lips. I can tell you that ABH, I really like their liquid lipsticks and they feel nicer on my lips to me. So I don't know, I would say only get this if you're an avid Kylie fan, you really like one of the shades, or you know that it ticks boxes for you that other liquid lipsticks don't. Overall, kind of worth the hype. Okay guys, so thank you so much for watching this video. I really enjoyed chatting to you. I should chat to you more about makeup and things like that. If you enjoyed it, tell me. I would really like to know what you guys enjoy and what you don't enjoy on my channel because I like doing things that you like, obviously, and I really enjoyed doing this today. Remember, like I said before, if you want a second one, I have loads more products that I want to talk about. Give it a thumbs up and then I will know or tweet me. Um, all my social links are below and I'll also put them at the end probably, but I would love if you could check those out as well well and I will see you very soon. Bye guys!